Nervous. Yeah. Nervous. <laughs> it's steep. It's, it's steep. steep. That does not look. Yeah. 600, 650 feet first two miles. Good afternoon and welcome back to another video on the channel. I am in no other place than the Welsh Valleys for today. We are taking on a tough 10 miler. Lordy, 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 where are we? We are in Cumcarn Forest for a, uh, a services 10 mile race today. And we have a return of no other than here she is. Where did you go after Ibiza? Ibiza some good rest from that holiday. And now she's back. <laughs> Might as well uh, say this now. KQ. Just pulled out. Oh. So if anyone wants to leave, then please, now's, now's the time. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. We are three weeks away from the marathon. It draws even closer. We're fit, we're ready. To that. That's why you've had a sabbatical, it's because she disrupted my piece. All going well, three weeks to go up until the marathon now. Come calm for a strive for today. It's uh, looking a hilly course. I'm going to let the head cam do most of the talking. It looks like it's going to be three mile uphill, and then you do a couple of laps up the top and you come back down, but a perfect opportunity to hone in on some marathon effort miles. Hopefully I can try and get myself up there. It's gonna be like a mini Riada video, for anyone who remembers that. That's what we're looking to turn into anyway. So anyway, I'm gonna go and get myself a warm up and uh, we'll team up very shortly. <laughs> wow. Okay, walking up to the start line with a fellow team member, Joseph Donkey. Welcome to the channel. How are you feeling for today? Look at the hills, mate. Not good, to be fair. <laughs> it's going to be a tough one today, but uh, we'll see him on the other side, won't we? For making up that hill, mate. Yeah, on the way back down. <laughs> Let the camera just do it for us. Wow. Ah, Andy Smith. How are we? Nervous. Yeah. Nervous. It's steep. It's, it's steep. steep. That does not look. Yeah. 600, 650 feet, first two miles. What is going on team and welcome back to another race day video with today being a particularly special one. You joined me just after the start line and what I can only say was possibly the hardest most spectacular race I have ever competed in. Before we dive in, if you want to see more race day footage like this, don't forget to drop a subscribe as we've got so much good stuff on the way for you guys. I knew this week would be a big one for me as I would be taking on two tough races, only three days apart, and if my body could get me through that without any pain, I would take confidence going into the marathon, which is only three weeks away. course profile indicated that it would be a hilly two to three miles to begin with before it evened out at the top of the valley. My plan initially was to conserve energy climbing through these hills and then click into marathon pace at the top but for me the course did, just did not allow this. We climbed a total of 600 foot before the three mile mark. You were either going up and down for the majority of the race and my lack of hill specific training really showed for me. Positives of the race, however, was that I took gels on at six mile and my body responded well to this. During my training lately, I've tried to take on fuel throughout my long run so my body is well adapted come race day on the 6th of October. I'm generally finding that the cis gels are working well for me with only 20 grams of carbs. I generally find that my body is responding well. I was very lucky to take part in such a beautiful race that boasted views from South Wales to the Seventh Estuary. And as we can see here from the footage, it is just a spectacular race. The 
course consisted of four miles eight to a two two mile loop that hugged the Medart summit before taking sharp downhills back to the start line. In the end, I finished in 23rd with an average of 6.27 per mile and in 65 minutes dead. The course total elevation was 1300 foot. Special mentions go out to teammates Joe Donkin finishing in 5th position, Martin Williams in 13th and Andy Smith in 15th, who I know are all big fans of the channel. Woo! I don't even know where to start. I think you did the first 600 feet of that in the first three mile. Two lap course, if I just pan around, we've just been up that. I hope the camera shots do that justice, but my lord, that was absolutely next level. The hardest I've ever worked up there. What can I say? What did you think of that? Amazing, look at the view. That, that was my view the whole time. Unreal, unreal. Knew going into this that it was going to be quite a tough course. Did I think it was going to be that? Absolutely not. I'm going to put it out there. I think that was harder than Raiada. Really? I think that was harder than Raiada because what you had at Raiada was you would climb and you got to the top and you'd do the majority of the climbing in the first four mile, but then it would be pretty up and it'd be pretty flat throughout with a couple of little drags. What that had was you climbed pretty much to the top point here and then about halfway through the lap you went steeply up again and then a sharp two mile at the end. Sorry. So when you came across here because you could see everyone running across there, I think you can still see people running. Yeah. Then where did you go down? From so down so the, so this is this this part here up here yeah. is pretty much the back end of the lap. Right. So we started and we worked our way over here, all the way up and down. There's a real spike the other side of them trees, which is the top of that, top of that mountain, is all I can say. And then, twice round. Absolutely crippling. And of course, if you're going up and down, it's absolutely battering the legs. Finished 20, I think. We've got three weeks to go, but, the way I'm going to look at this one, an average of 6.26 in the end, I think. Can't grumble at that. Would never do that round where we live. So over the moon with that. Now, it is on to a well-earned couple of tiny rebels in Cardiff. Our Welsh journey continues here today. We have landed at no other place. Barry Island. And here she is with a Starbucks. Has Wales done you well? Yes. It's been a lovely, pleasantly lo surprised. It's been a lovely, lovely trip. Stopped in Cardiff last night. Really, really nice. Enjoyed that. It was nice to sample the tiny Rebel Bar. Are Marathon you saying sample the tiny Rebel Bar because you sampled every tiny Rebel beer in the bar? I don't think the channel needs to know that. <laughs> the home of Gavin and Stacey, of course. On there as well. On the shop. What Emily's trying to do is she's just trying to identify what's real and what's not. I know. So we've established that the Dolphin Inn does not actually exist. Does not exist. Which is really, really sad. But Marco's Calf does, so we'll take yeah. you down there shortly. It's a really picturesque place. It's lovely and scenic. And quite controversially, what we've just established is someone's wearing a Christmas jumper. Right now we're on <laughs> September the 12th. And I am the biggest Christmas person that is, but surely like we need to wear the Ugg boots and drink a couple of pumpkin spice lattes before we wear the Christmas jumpers. Yeah, I think that's, he's gone from zero to hundred there. Literally, yeah. we've gone from the end of August, which we had a heat wave for, into uh, September, Christmas jumper, straight in. Not hanging around. Down on the seafront, on Barry Island. And if you've watched up until this point, she's non-stop taking pictures at the moment. She absolutely loves it. I do love it. <laughs> Like Nessa, we've got to have the game on the slots. We've got yeah. uh, where Nessa works, of course. If you've watched up until this point, thank you ever so much. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. Emily, what are you going to say to them? What are you going to tell them to do? Come to Barry Island and also probably subscribe. That's what you need to do. But until the next time we see you guys, what do they need to do? Keep on running. Keep on running as we check out. In Barry Island. Thank you ever so much, guys. See you in the next one.